Hello, Bootyfuls. This is Dana. And Shannon, here with your monthly Wildcast. LGHS presents the show Attack of the Zombies this fall. Shows will be Thursday, Friday, and Saturday of next week, October 26th, 27th, and 28th, and will start at 7 p.m. Tickets are $10 and will go on sale next week. This year's coronation dance is tomorrow night at 8 p.m. in the large gym. The theme is Winter Wonderland. Hopefully the person you've been crushing on hasn't been ghosting you. <laughs> <laughs> Tickets are on sale at the student store. See you at the dance. I hope you all enjoyed the first spirit week of the year. Today we will have the rally after fourth period. Come on down to the football field for some fun games and friendly competition. Now to Ryan with an interview with the homecoming court nominees. Oh, hello there. I'm here for an interview with our Los Gatos homecoming court. <laughs> I'm going to ask them a series of questions so you can get to know the nominees. To start out, we have Lauren Sanders. If you could be a celebrity, who would it be? Well, Ryan, if I were a celebrity, I would be the Obama family's dog. Good to know, good to know. Katie, who would you say your role model is and why? Uh, my role model is my sister because she's, she doesn't care about what other people think. Nice, nice. So hum. Who is your favorite athlete and why? My favorite athlete is Ed Reed, a safety on the Baltimore Ravens, because he delivers pretty massive hits. <laughs> just like you, Soham, <laughs> just like you. Massive. Cameron Sotude. Hello there. If you had to be a movie character, who would it be and why? If I had to be any movie character, I would probably be Katniss Everdeen. Down to our president, Binot. If you could live in any other time period, <gasps> when would it be <laughs> and why? I think that I would live... Like in the 80s, I'd be super down to wear a lot of neon. Great, great. Cassandra, what's your favorite type of music? Um, I really like death metal. Now down to Jimmy Gordon. If you were stranded on an island and you could bring one other person with you, who would it be and why? <laughs> It'd have to be myself. Ashley, if you could live in any other country or planet, where would it be and why? I like cold weather, so I'd like to live on Pluto. Great, now down to the more competitive, <laughs> deeper questions. I'm going to go across, and everyone on the board is going to explain why they deserve to win Homecoming King or Queen, starting with Katie Needham. I think it would be fun to represent a, like a fun, spirited group of people. I'd have to say because I'm smart, <laughs> sophisticated, and most importantly, I'm best friends with Mr. Burns. Ryan? I can play one song in the Peruvian pan flute, I will be everybody's best friend, and I bleed orange and black. Some people ask why, I ask why not, and it's times like this when I ask myself, what would Abraham Lincoln do? And I'm confident he would run for class president. Oh, homecoming king. I think that I am really helpful unless it's something like honors bio, in which case, don't ask me for help. But yeah, I think that that would be a good thing to do. I'm Canadian and I have a lot of school spirit. I deserve to be homecoming king because where I lack in school spirit, I make up for in <laughs> compassion. Because I love LGHS and if you vote for me, I'll make you cookies. Candidates, thank you for coming in and viewers, thank you for watching. Thanks Ryan, that's all for today's Wildcast. Make sure to come to the homecoming football game tonight and see your homecoming court nominees at halftime. Also, be sure to pick up a copy of Elgato's October issue during your sixth period. Have a safe and happy Halloween, and creep it real, Los Gatos. <laughs>